good morning you guys i'm starting this vlog in a little bit of a rush but i wanted to bring you guys through my weekend because it's gonna be a nice fun weekend i think um but i need gas i am headed to a meeting with my financial advisors this morning i have i don't know if i've said that i can't remember but i basically have hired some financial advisors to just help with some stuff that I have going on <laughs> and then I have a meeting this afternoon with a brand and our house cleaners are coming today Seth's at work um, but I have some work I need to get done I need to edit some videos and then this weekend is gonna be really fun I think um, I don't think we have any plans for this evening but Seth is running a 10k tomorrow morning and then um, I think we're doing lunch like at a friend's house. We're going to the lightning game tomorrow night. I think they're gonna lose because they have literally lost every game of this series with the Panthers, but I don't know, maybe they'll win at home. That would be fun. And then I'm supposed to see my friend McKenna this weekend. We have a, I have a brunch date on Sunday and then I'm off Monday. So I figured I could bring you guys through like my long weekend. I just got this Summer Fridays birthday cake yesterday. I am typically like obsessed with Summer Fridays and don't get me wrong, I do really like this one. It just feels a bit more, not even clumpy, but just like more thick than Summer Fridays. Balm usually does, but it's so good. I would just probably advise if you're like getting Summer Fridays for the first time or you're, and you're like trying to figure out which one to get, I would go with like the, what is it called? Oh, I would go with like the pink sugar um, or like vanilla sugar I think is the other one. Or I also have the mint one, which I'm not a big mint girly, but I do really like this one as well. Anyway, gotta go, gotta listen to Taylor Swift on the way. And yeah, welcome back to the vlog. I'm so excited that you guys are here. Financial meeting is over. I just filled up on some gas and we're gonna go clean out my car because look at it it's a mess which is very typical for me honestly one of the hardest things for me is keeping my car clean um, I'm just not very good at it also this is quickly becoming one of my favorites from the new tortured poets department Taylor Swift's album we need to talk about it but we'll talk about it after I go clean out Mika making avocado toast it's like almost 12 o'clock I haven't eaten today Wise man once said, wild wind. just finished up at the coffee shop I basically just sat and edited a bunch of videos because I thought I charged my computer and I guess I didn't um, so it's dead but anyway it is 1 I have a meeting at 2 I'm literally gonna take this meeting in my car because my cleaners are at my house and I didn't want to be in the coffee shop and them not be able to hear me so hopefully it goes good but I don't know what we're gonna do after that I still have stuff to get done but I needed a charged computer and I don't know what else to do now okay that literally took nine minutes. <laughs> so cool. Um, so over the past couple of weeks, months, I have been thinking about getting myself a new computer and I'm trying to decide if I wanna get a desktop or a new laptop because I actually have to edit all of my YouTube videos on my husband's computer because mine is so slow. Um, and I, I don't have like an external hard drive. I've actually deleted like most everything that I had on my laptop because it was a lot from college and nurse, not college, but nurse practitioner school. 
So I don't know why it's still so incredibly slow. I could take it to Apple support. That would be like obviously the smart thing to do, but I don't like to do, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done it. So there was a Best Buy. I guess I could go to the Best Buy and like kind of see around there. I don't know, you guys. I have like one more thing. Let me look at my to-do list. I love my house cleaners coming, but somehow they have gotten on this schedule of they come on the days that I am off. And while I do enjoy working at coffee shops, I don't like to do all of my work at coffee shops. I just... Like, I wouldn't have taken that meeting in the coffee shop because I don't like to, like, talk and interrupt other people during, but... And then I don't like to, like, edit my YouTube videos there because I don't want people watching them because I find it to be odd, but I think that's a personal problem. Okay. I did my meeting. I did edit that TikTok. I just need to put a voiceover to it and then send it to my manager. I've basically done everything. I needed to do today I just have to upload some stuff for my financial advisor and then we'll be good okay I decided to go to world market I need some stuff for my house so we are going to browse around there is nothing better than a completely clean house on Friday right before the weekend oh my gosh <laughs> That is usually not right there, but it's cool. They have cleaned everything. I don't know if I showed you guys our bedroom in a little bit. I need to let the dogs in because they've been outside, but ooh, it looks a little messy. But we just got these sheets from Brooke Linen probably about three weeks ago, and I am working with them on TikTok, but <laughs> they are amazing. And they're so cute, like this striped pattern. So cute, like I love the way it looks we've actually taken these off so it's typically just looks like that i love that and the bathroom is clean don't look at my toilet just kidding oh my goodness i love it i also don't know if i have showed you guys this i actually had seth hang three acrylic shelves up probably like a couple of weeks ago now and it's so nice to keep everything organized and then that way most everything is off of um our counter we used to have so much stuff on our counter but now i don't know Seth has a few things and we have like soap but that's it that needs to be fixed i'm working on it <laughs> i have three things on my list one fix that two something's wrong with our water softener three Seth and i are thinking about redoing our kitchen um it desperately needs to like the cabinets desperately need to be redone and we're thinking about moving out and then not, not moving out but like buying a new home in the next couple of years and keeping this home to rent it and so i feel like we need to redo the kitchen before we do that but anyway that's on my list of things to do i should actually probably do some research on that today but i did get some stuff from world market i'm going to show you guys a little haul let's bring the dogs in Oh my gosh! Uh, come in! Hi, baby! Oh, hello, hello, hello! Camp, why are you barking? Hi, sweetie! Oh, hello! You want to help me take some stuff in? Come on! Okay, I set up a few of the things and then I'll show you where the other things are. But I got some dried flowers because I want to switch out, you see that vase that's like right over there? I actually wanna move that vase, I can do it right now. Um, there's this spot, it's like such a Florida spot to have in the house. This right here, which we have had nothing in for a while. And every Christmas I move this here to put my decorations. So I'm just gonna keep that there, I feel like it's fine. It's cute. It should be much taller to like accommodate the space, but it'll do. And I got a few new vases to try out in that area. I'm thinking this one is going to be what I'm going to put there with these flowers for spring. And I think this would be really cute in my bedroom, like on my nightstand with these flowers. 
And then I also got a new pot because this pot I got from TJ Maxx, you guys, and literally the color like burns off of it. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm just like worried about its capabilities. So I'm gonna throw it away. I should mention that it was probably like $14. Hey cutie, it's not gonna hurt you. This one is glass too, so like in the grand scheme of things, I think it's probably better. I put this here. I think that looks really good. Cute, simple. And then I fixed up my bedside table and it also looks really cute. And I like the color seam together. I'm actually thinking about getting new ones of these because we've had them for a while and I'm, you know, just a little over them, but I like it for now. It's cute. These are the other rugs that I got for our guest bathroom. This is our guest bathroom. It's super cute and I love like the mix of the blue and yellow. I already had that color scheme in here so I just added it. It probably is a little much but I don't know. I think it's cute. That's all that matters. Guys, it's Saturday morning. Last night, sorry, I feel like I have something on my nose. Last night we um, went to Burger 21 for dinner which was really random but I don't know, Seth just really wanted a burger. And then we were like, when does that new movie with Ryan Gosling, The Fall Guy, come out? Because we want to see it. And I looked it up online and it said that there were showings um, at 8 p.m. And it was like 7.30. So we're like, oh my god, perfect. We'll eat and then we'll go over there. Well, little did I, I didn't look at the date. And it comes out next Friday. So we got to the theater and they were like, um, that movie's not out yet. So embarrassing. <laughs> but um, then we went to Lowe's because we were actually going to redo our kitchen. Um, our kitchen needs help as i'm sure you guys could tell from the background these are like so these cabinets i'm pretty sure have been here since the house was built like 20 years ago there's no microwave over this the previous owner put in pennies as the backsplash which i hate so we were at lowe's like looking around at colors and um backsplash and all that type of stuff there was nobody there to help us we were just kind of looking um we are i'm really into like the colored cabinets but i'm a little nervous about colored cabinets because i want my kitchen to be timeless um so we were looking at like these here's my phone i took some pictures of the colors that i liked let me show you guys i really liked this color mm, i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell okay that does that look pink I'm sorry. Okay, maybe it doesn't. There we go. That color, that kind of green color, and then I really liked that dark, not too dark, but darkish blue. Anyway, I've been on Pinterest a lot in the last 12 hours looking at colors because also, you know, my smart center of my brain is like, just do white cabinets again. And maybe, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have, I don't know. Cause when I look at the white cabinets, I'm like, oh my God, this is boring. But anyway, we'll figure that out. I think that will be like a fun process to take you guys along with. So we definitely will. And then this morning I made a strawberry matcha. So I cut up my own matcha. I made like a strawberry glaze and then, um, made, matcha and put it over i forgot to show you guys the process but you can see like the little strawberries in there and it's really good the strawberries are getting caught in my straw but it's really good i get this out from a place a lot um and now that i know how to make it here that's pretty cool Anyway, I was supposed to go to Seth's run this morning. He's probably, he's probably done with it by now. Um, but my dog Camper has like really bad allergies and atopic dermatitis, which is essentially like eczema. And he has been so itchy and they had a vet tech appointment that he could take at 8 a.m. today. So I just took him over there and um, we just got back. So 
I think I'm gonna take the dogs to the school so that they can play um, and swim and stuff. Oh, I think Seth just texted me probably. No, FedEx. And then we're gonna go to a friend's house for lunch tonight and then the hockey game tonight. So, yeah. Good morning, happy Saturday. Seth finished third in the race and they gave him this medal that is really cute. Third overall in the men's, that's great. Making some potato tots. We have the babies here. We can have a good breakfast. Nap time. <laughs> Seth's about to get in bed again. Waking up at 7 a.m. on the weekend is not for us. I'm just gonna go and Babies, good morning you guys. Happy Sunday. Um, we had such a fun day yesterday. And it is so bright outside, so sorry that that is um, like not good um, in the lighting, but we had such a fun day. I'm making a matcha this morning. I'll tell you guys about yesterday. Um, so, I feel like I didn't get a ton of clips because I'm sure you guys like know from every YouTuber who ever posts anything online that it's really hard to get like clips when you're just living your life <laughs> because you forget to pull out your camera. You're like, oh, I don't want to pull out my camera and ruin the moment. Um, I just put three scoops of the Trader Joe's matcha powder into my mug and then I just pour over ooh, one. just pour over a little bit of water probably like a fourth of a cup of water on top of that and then I don't have like the fancy things proper matcha things and then I add my milk of choice this morning I used almond milk but look how foamy I don't know if you guys can see look how foamy that milk is I've never seen an almond milk get this frothy this is the almond milk I used that just got this frothy that is literally insane let's go outside and I'll tell you guys about my day literally so nice outside but anyway um okay <laughs> my baby oh my gosh uh, good morning um after we like ate breakfast Seth and I took a nap, which I'm pretty sure I have clips of that because I took some on my phone. Um, we took a nap with the dogs. I slept so good and I slept for probably like an hour and a half. And then we went to um, a friend's house for lunch and they made rice, they made they made chicken and rice, but they also made us like this um, baked tofu too that was really good and potato salad and couscous salad. And then they had vegan ice cream. Anyway, it was really good. Um, and then right after that, we ran home and got ready for the lightning game and then went to the lightning game, went to that with um, a friend that we used to go to college with. She wasn't really a college friend until she moved down here and she actually works with Seth. So um, I really like her, so it was nice to see her. And then we met up with my other friend um, that I actually met through TikTok, social media, her and her um, boyfriend, and then two of their friends, and just kind of hung out, and got home at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, went to bed, and so it was a great day, I don't know, just, it was a really nice day. Um, this, today the plant, oh my god, the plant, yeah, hi my love, I guess the plan is to spend all day with camera. <laughs> Hi, babes. You needing so much attention this morning. Come here. Let me get it. Arr. The yoga class at 11 o'clock. I had to cancel my yoga class yesterday. So I rebooked one for 11 o'clock. But I usually take the Sculpt and Flow, and I think this is just like a 
a yoga flow so it'll be fine and then we have a reservation at somi's which is like my favorite restaurant it's a greek restaurant here in tampa it's so good their brunch their brunch is like iconic um and then we'll probably go shopping at trader joe's i have a few returns that i need to make to zara so i'm hoping stuff will breathe the mall with me for that. oh my god all right this is the yoga fit i'm wearing a set active sports bra and then these leggings are white fox sarah's day collab um and we are headed to yoga i take two of these let me let me matcha energy b12 gummies every day and if i'm being completely honest like i don't think that they do a ton like i wouldn't recommend buying these but I do, as a vegetarian, vegan, plant-based girl, I do need B12 supplements. So I'm just using it for that. I'm actually so excited to go to yoga because I haven't been in what feels like forever. I haven't been. I didn't go to the last one because it was out of town. I feel like I went three. So I think it's been two weeks. And I usually go every weekend, so I'm gonna have a good yoga class. That is over. I have to be honest, that's just not my favorite class. It's the, I go to yoga six. Um, it's the yoga six power class. It's just not my favorite. We do a lot of um, poses. Um, not poses, what's the word for them? This is how you can tell I'm not a yogi. It's basically a lot of like holding poses you know like when you go on your you know you do handstands um crow like things like that i can't remember what they're called and i don't mind doing those i'm not like the best at them so i think that's why i probably don't love that class but it's not there's not a lot of people who like can do that stuff in the class so i don't know i just don't love it i really like the sculpted flow classes they're really hard and they incorporate um like strength training cardio and yoga so it's kind of a mix of everything so i find myself getting less bored whereas this class i'm like oh my god is the hour over yet so anyway we're gonna be rushing it it's 12 10 our reservation at so is at one o'clock and it probably takes us like 25 minutes to get there so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna shower super quickly. Probably throw on a dress or something like that. So it uses people dress like really cute going there. And I wanna dress cute today. So Olive Tampanade or something. Oh, really? <laughs> a little update for you. I am editing TikToks. I have spent the oh, last that there's a flash. Mm, probably two hours making TikToks and now I have to edit them. So I'm just sitting watching the Vampire Diaries while I do that. It's like, oh, it's 5.50. I need to start making dinner soon. So this is the last one I'm gonna edit and then we're gonna make dinner together. I always make like a list of foods for the week. And basically it just kind of gives me a little guideline of what to make. Yesterday I made butter chicken. It was really yummy. I'm thinking today I'll probably make spicy um, vodka pasta because I'm off work so I have more time and then the next couple of days we'll have these two to make we also have a bunch of fried rice from Trader Joe's in the freezer I like to stock up on or like keep stocked a lot of frozen foods for weeks that I work Tuesday through Friday because for some reason those weeks just seem harder to me so we're gonna finish editing this TikTok. I'm actually editing for the Glow Bar, which if you guys don't know, I own my own mobile Botox company. It's called the Glow Bar NP. You can find us on Instagram and on TikTok. And basically we will come to your house and we will do Botox for you. We bring all the supplies, the cost is included, like the unit number is included in the cost. Like we don't charge any extra for travel and it's super convenient. So me and my friend Mara do it. She is based in Winter Haven. So if you're in that area, you can always contact us as well and she can travel to you there. So anyway, just a little self promo plug. I'll leave uh, my Instagram and our TikTok handle down in the description bar below. And all you have to do is just shoot us a DM if you're interested in it. It is a $50 deposit because we order the Botox and I don't want somebody to cancel as soon as we've ordered the Botox because then I have a full vial of Botox just 
hanging around but yeah it's super convenient the appointment takes at max 20 minutes and it's so nice that you don't have to like take off of work or anything like that to get it done for the most part there's some things i'm like mm, all right whatever. all right good morning you guys it is monday morning last day off um before my four-day work stretch and this morning has been a lovely morning actually something that i notice is my in my videos when i'm editing is i say um all the time and it makes me so mad so i'm sorry if that bothers you guys but anyway seth had to go to work this morning so he woke me he didn't wake me up i was awake at like 8 a.m and he was like do you want to go on a walk we'll take the dogs and so we did that and then since then i have been doing home projects so we have a lot of fun things exciting things that we want to do to our house in the next couple of months one of them i think i might have already mentioned on friday is we really want to redo our kitchen so i tried to call we're looking at going with either lowe's or like an independent contractor but i tried to call lowe's this morning to see what time their like kitchen specialists were in and I could not get an answer just so Seth and I could go sit down and talk with them about pricing and that type of thing and you know maybe get somebody out here to look at it take dimensions etc but I couldn't get a hold of them so I might look for like independent excuse me independent contractors around here or something like that but um I did ah! I said I'm again. I did that and then our water softener is not um oh my god is not processing water is not processing the salt that we're putting in so I called that company I have somebody coming out here not this week I don't even think next week the week afterwards to come take a look at that and then we are wanting to get there's something in the area that I live they're called gypsy pools and they're basically these big water tanks that have a pump um, and like a cleaning system and they can but they're not like you know above ground pools because we don't want to take up that much space in our backyard I also just think above ground pools can be pretty ugly but these are super cute actually let me get my phone and I can show you guys we just kind of want a place where we can cool off in the summertime and make a little bit of like a backyard oasis, have some cute lounge pools, have a big umbrella, that type of thing. And I think this will be actually perfect for a backyard. Focus, like look how cute those are. I think this is actually the perfect, they're literally these, they look like dog bowls, but they have like eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot, 11 foot. I think we're gonna go with a nine foot one, but our electrical outlet outside is not working and you need an electrical outlet because it has a pump and it needs to be a pretty heavy duty electrical outlet so i called an electrician to come out and they're coming out next week to take a look at that and then what else do i have on my to-do list today as far as getting things done for the house i think that's probably about it but I also want to go to the gym, do a leg day. I restarted Whitney Simmons. I'm not restarted. I guess I reactivated my membership and I think she has a few new programs out. So I think I'm gonna start following them because I've been doing my own stuff for probably the last four months and I'm getting a little tired of it. And I hate like making up my own workouts. So I think we're gonna do that. And I need to do like emails. I definitely have some social media stuff I need to take care of. Um, a video that is due in a couple of months, sorry, a couple of weeks, but I've already got most of it done. I try to do most of my branded video editing and filming on days that I'm off because it just makes life so much easier. Unless I'm doing it around like a nighttime routine or like a post-work nighttime routine, that type of thing. So I'm just waiting for something from my manager about the content for that. And I think that's it. I've been very productive already and it's 9.30 in the morning. I still need to eat breakfast. I'm just gonna finish up our laundry here. I'm listening to the newest episode of Crime Junkie because they always drop on Mondays. We're gonna have a good day. Another strawberry matcha this morning. Very cute. I did make a little bit of a cold foam I'm gonna put on top too but i want to take a picture of it <laughs> it's 
both of them is not cute. Okay, ready to go to the gym. We had to say bye to the bubble first. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna protect the house while I'm gone. Love you. Isn't he just the cutest boy in the world? He's such a big baby. Look at my face compared to yours. He doesn't like the camera. <laughs> This is the workout set. Um, these are Sarah's Day White Fox, Sarah's Day White Fox bralette, which I really like. And then this is a TNA shirt from Aritzia. And we are gonna do a leg day. I made my pre-workout, which I don't know if I've talked about this here, um, but I use the Oxy Shred. I use all EHP lab products, but I use their Oxy Shred before I go to the gym. And it's a thermogenic fat burner. It has a bunch of B vitamins. It has, it has L-tyrosine in it, which is one of my favorite supplements. Um, and I like that it doesn't give me like the jittery feeling of pre-workout, but it gives me a boost to going to the gym. So we're gonna do that. And I'll probably insert, I'll probably insert the TikTok I'm gonna make because I'm gonna make a little TikTok video of my gym, my gym workout, so. Yeah, and then I booked an appointment for a in-home consultation for a private like company to come out and tell me how much it's gonna cost, give me some colors, all that stuff at three o'clock, so that's gonna be home then.